All right, if you drive the 94 corridor past the airport towards Ann Arbor, you've experienced construction of the country's first connected and automated vehicle corridor. Now, it's called the CAV Corridor, and it's a pilot section from Belleville to Rossonville Roads along 94. It's an upgraded lane with smart road technology. MDOT is partnering with a private company called CAVNU that designs and builds advanced roads, and that pilot stretch is close to being finished right now. We want to welcome back Tyler Duvall. He's the CEO and co-founder of CAVNU. Joining me live right now. It's good to see you. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you. Thanks for having me. All right. Why don't you go ahead and give us the update. Give us a sense of where we are with the project right now and what that lane is eventually going to do because I've actually driven 94 in that stretch and you see this, the poles, the sensors, and also the blocked off area that you can only enter at certain points. Yeah, right, Christy. We're really excited uh, about the progress we've been making. Uh, obviously, this three-mile stretch, as you said, from Belleville to Rossonville, uh, we've got a, it's called delineation, which is a you know a separation of the lane. Uh, we've got you know lighting. Uh, the pavement quality is going to be significantly better. And we're, as you said, we're going to have sensors up on the roadway to basically observe everything that's happening, provide uh, inferences around. What, you know, if there's debris in the roadway, if there's a tire, if there's a guardrail that's protruding into the roadway, all the risks that we experience every day on the road, we're going to provide insights both to Michigan DOT, Department of Transportation, as well as to these smart vehicles, many of whom are, you know, many of which are being made now in, in Michigan itself. So, you know, Ford, Ford and General Motors in the next five years are going to roll out thousands and thousands of advanced vehicles that have the cap, you know, capacity to, to take in this information off the roadway. Uh, and we're really excited to, to be the first, the, the first of its kind uh, in Michigan in this, this critical corridor. So tell us a little bit about how the construction's been going, because you and I talked about this project in August. Were there any surprises on how this went in, how it is working right now, and feedback from drivers? Because I know that MDOT thinks that's very important to be able to get feedback. Yeah, so, you know, it's gone as smoothly as you can be expected. Obviously, you know, some weather issues, uh, you know, some cold weather issues uh, uh, have impacted the application of a high surface friction treatment uh, that will go in hopefully in the next, you know, say four to eight weeks that will make the ride quality the best of its kind, we hope, in the state of Michigan. Uh, but overall, construction has been fantastic. We have a great partner in Dan's Excavating. Uh, you know, uh, the, the power supply has been an issue, so we've been working extensively with DTE to ensure, you know, full power at all times. So sensors need power. Uh, fiber uh, was laid into the roadway to provide connectivity for the communication side. That's that's gone smoothly. So, you know, normal hiccups that you get in any construction project. But overall, we were excited to open the lane over the last few weeks. Uh, obviously, drivers should feel free to use that lane. It's, it's open to the public. Uh, we, we're only going to shut it down in very short periods of the day to do some testing with these advanced vehicles. Uh, hopefully, the ride quality everyone experiences better. And at night, the lighting should be significantly better than what they see on the rest of the 94. So, you know, I think what's so interesting about this project is you're not waiting for the vehicles to get to this point. You're having the road there now instead of saying, wow, well, we've got these vehicles. Now we should change the road. Talk to me about and you said in several years from now that the automakers will be rolling out vehicles where it will work in conjunction with this road. What model years are we talking about and what kind of technology are we looking at? Yeah, so there already are a number on the roadway today. You know, Ford's F-150, the most advanced version of that, has a, a system called Blue Cruise. Uh, for those of you who use it in, in Michigan, it basically allows for a hands-off driving experience. You press a button and the vehicle can effectively steer itself within the lane. Uh, we're going to test those existing vehicles. There's a Ford Mach-E uh, as well that has the same capability. GM's got a number of vehicles. There's a Bolt, Chevy Bolt, that we're going to be testing in the lane as well. And then, you know, Chevy, uh, the Cadillac Escalade, the high-end version of that, has a very sophisticated system uh, called Super Cruise. So these systems are on the roadway today. They're just going to get better and better, uh, Christy. And you know, in the next you know three to four years, all the big auto manufacturers are expected to roll out the next level of that, which allows for both hands-off as well as eyes-off driving experience. That's called level three. What's on the roadway now is level two, but we, we, we do believe these enhancements to the to that stretch of roadway on 94 and eventually the entire 94 corridor will work with all vehicles, level one, level two and level three. Yeah, and, and I think when people think about it, it's not just technology, it's also safety and congestion. Talk to me about how this technology is going to be able to help eliminate some of the human error. I mean, obviously working in conjunction with the, what the automakers are putting inside right now and also troubleshooting what kind of traffic is up ahead so there can be more of a slowdown earlier or posted speed instead of, you know, when everyone kind of piles up and then comes to a standstill. Exactly right. Look, t time is the single biggest risk factor on, on roadways. The more time you have to react 
to hazards as they occur, the, the safer the roadway environment is going to be. I-94 is a very dangerous road. Michigan DOT has made a big priority about improving safety, but the fatality numbers across the U.S., by the way, not just in Michigan, uh, have stayed elevated uh, post-COVID. Uh, and so we have a lot of hazards out there on the roadway, high-speed uh, accidents, obviously a lot of uh, inter interaction between vehicles and then hazards on roadway. And, and frankly, if you can see you know, further than 250 meters ahead, you can see a half mile ahead or around the turn or 500 meters ahead, your vehicle and you as a human driver are going to be able to respond much more effectively to that. So what we want to do is provide that look ahead uh, around the turn, so to speak, to, the, to both drivers, human drivers, as well as these advanced vehicles, and then also to the Michigan DOT, so that we can you know, to, you know, clear the debris, uh, fix the issues on the roadway before the, the safety problems occur. Uh, we do think prevention is gonna be the single biggest tool in uh, you know, avoiding you know, increased fatalities on roadways. All right, Tyler, so again, give us the sense of, if all goes well, how big of a project and how many miles stretch of 94 do you expect that this could be? Yeah, so look, our ambition is the full 41 mile quarter from you know Detroit to Ann Arbor. Uh, obviously, uh, go blue, by the way, heard the last segment, so we're real excited to, to go all the way to Ann Arbor. Uh, and then eventually, look, our ambition is to work with the state of Michigan for all of the major roadways, all the limited access highways in the state eventually we think should be smart roadways. So this stretches, you know, three miles and then eventually to 41 miles. Uh, and we'll, we'll segment them, you know, based on conversations with Michigan DOT, input from the public right now there's a public process to provide input to where when and how these lanes should should be deployed uh, we very much want the public's feedback but michigan is leading the world uh, in this technology both in the vehicles and now now on the roadway so we're, we're really excited to partner with them yeah we look forward to keep on tracking this project tyler duval the ceo of cavenu thanks so much for joining me we'll check in with thanks. you in a couple more months thanks. as things progress thanks Kristen. all right take care